Hello and welcome to our Monday Market Updates. Today is April 10, 1.59 p.m. And in this video, we're going to be talking about um, the usual stuff, BTC, um, ano ba yung direction niya, trends, liquidity farming, what's my strategy, and also, uh, what else, my updates. Ayun. So let's begin with BTC. Uh, the usual, we're just going to be looking at the support and resistance, kung asan ba natin to uh, pwedeng saluhin or saan ba to pwedeng bilhin, mga ganun. And so, ayan. So these are the, ano, these are the levels that we're looking into. Um, itong levels na to, uh, I'm, I'm using the weekly chart just to make sure na pino yung ating uh, search or kung asan yung gusto nating tignan na levels. But currently, we're at here, we're creating a new support level or new area of support where pagka pumunta dyan yung presyo, dyan tayo bibili. Um, in anticipation of a higher move upwards. So parang pag bumili ka dyan, nakakabili ka at a discount. And then, if you wanna sell, let's say if it goes here, then go ahead. But as for me, um, I'm just gonna be holding for long kasi yung trend nito, pataas na. And malapit na yung May. Yeah, it's gonna be one more month and then it's May na. Yung pinaka-estimate ko kasi na magbo-bull market is May. Um, or actually the start of the second half. So June onwards, sobrang bullish na yung outlook ko nyan. Um, yeah, since October last year, ako nagsimula mag uh, DCA or dollar cost average. So that was somewhere here, October. So before the FTX fiasco, nakapasok na ako and then I started to uh, dollar cost average here up, up to now. Until today, I still dollar cost average. And so medyo okay na yung position ko. But still, um, it's not enough for me. Gusto ko talaga na ano, parang accumulate hanggang sa dumating yung bull market na yan. Kasi inevitable to eh. Anyways, uh, that's it for BTC. These are the levels that we're looking at. And then, ito, pagka nag, nag-breakout to, for sure, um, ito na yung next natin na level na titingnan itong 32k. So, watch out for that 28 to 29k pagka yan nabasag. Uh, the direct direction na tayo dito sa uh, 32. And then, that's also the same thing with ETH. Um, ETH is actually, ito yung medyo laggard, pero mas mabilis to kay, ano eh, kay Bitcoin. Kaya mas gusto ko to. Teka. Tapos tayo dun. Okay. So, mas gusto ko si ETH because mas mabilis lang siya kay Bitcoin for me. And then, mas marami namang ibang coins na pinapasok ko. Uh, especially na nasa support sila. So, if you want something safe, um, I'm just gonna check itong liquidity yeah, here. So, ito yung cheat sheet ko para sa inyo if you guys want to, um, let's say, invest into crypto or gusto niya kong gayahin. Um, so, currently, ito sila. Nire-rebalance ko to lagi. So, mapapansin nyo, may negative dyan. Tapos, minsan, yan, green. Makikita nyo dyan yung ano, portion, portion value PNL. So, yan, marami pa dyan pula. Tapos, ano, so, Ano ako dito? Active ako na nagre-rebalance. So, minsan pag umakit yung isang um, ano tawag nito? Isang pool, I kind of like take out let's say USDT, tapos nag-wait ako ng correction, tapos pinapasok ko ulit dun. Um, ine-interchange ko lang siya with let's say single coin staking to uh, liquidity mining. Usually kasi pagka um, sideways yung movement and then um, pinartner mo yung isang crypto coin with a stable coin which is let's say in example here it's USDT or BUSD um, hindi ganong kalaki yung bagsak niya let's say it's 50% lang yung bagsak niya uh, I mean yung damage pataas or pababa so halimbawa if uh, aakit yung coin ng 10% only 5% yung makukuha mo doon na gains kasi kalahati no nasa stables um, same thing is true pagka bumagsak let's say bumagsak siya ng 50% then instead of 50% damage, you only um, get a 25% decrease in your investment kasi kalahati no, nasa stables. And then in between the gain or the loss, may mga transactions that are happening. So you get, let's say, a certain reward for that. You get three coins. You get BNB, you get uh, and the two tokens that you're providing liquidity for. So let's say here, you get Arbitrum, you get uh, Binance coin, you get your CD because I'm putting it here in RB, RB USDT. Tapos Binance yung, yung platform na ginagamit natin. So they're kind of like giving out uh, Binance token as well. So here, I think uh, one week na to na, na nag liquidity mining ako for how much is this? This is around magkano ba? 4,000? 4,000 worth? 
of uh, liquid swap so parang within a week meron na tayong 11.25 so i can just claim that and then this goes to my spot wallet so yan claim reward spot wallet and then from the spot wallet i can decide to stake it or i can decide to put it back into the liquidity pool um, add into these positions so pwedeng ganun yung gagawin natin so sometimes it takes like uh, 30 minutes to an hour probably um, to reflect dun sa spot account natin uh, actually sobrang tagal na nun dapat nandun na yun sa spot pero um, I, in my experience medyo ano it takes time um, but yan so you see here claimed na yung mga rewards natin from putting into the portion or sorry sa, sa pool so if you wanna check out ano yung mga hawak ko dito this is really the same as here this can be seen here in overview and then you just go to earn and then from earn select liquid swap so ito naman if you wanna add into the positions kanya pupunta ka dito sa may earn and then just go to liquidity farming tapos hanapin mo yung mga gusto mo coins na uh, you know you wanna be providing liquidity for and then ayun uh, these yields they go up and down depending on the volatility of the market syempre pag sobrang volatile yung market pataas uh, maraming nagtatrade maraming fees na nangyayari and that's where you get your total yield here Ayan. so may mga 6% 5% and so halimbawa um, I'm not gonna show my portion I'm gonna show like for example ano ba yung mga sobrang tumaas ngayong araw na to like ito 287 XBS right so most likely itong coin na to tumaas today or sobrang volatile XBS and then ayun kita nyo na <laughs> so ayan guys Umakit siya ng ilan? 83% and then it's down by 19% or almost 20% today. So ayun guys, pagka umakit to ng mga 80%, 40% of that yung magiging gain nyo. So 80% yung gain, pero just because nakalagay siya sa, let's say USDT, kalahati nun. Um, kalahati lang yung move yung makukuha mo na gain. So yan, usually pagka nagkaroon ng spike na ganyan, tinitake out ko yung USDT. Okay? <laughs> tinitake out ko yung USDT tapos tinatambay ko lang siya doon sa sa USDT tapos pa, pag let's say nagkaroon ng correction na ganito or let's say bumagsak siya sa mga support levels saka ko binabalik doon sa pool para i have more of that token na nag ano na nag spike ng ganito or yung value niya mas na capture ko so you can trade it like that parang nagpo position play ka lang tapos pag may umakyat ng sobrang taas yun you just switch into liquidity so yun yung isang ginagawa ko na way uh, for me to to earn in this market and so, ayan, um, dami ko ng, ano, dami kong nasabing techniques. Pero ayan, guys, baka gusto yung subukan kasi uh, hindi, hindi nyo kasi alam, like, which tokens yung aakyat, which tokens yung mga, yung magiging okay long term, ganyan. Pero, syempre, I still recommend that you learn, you understand what are the tokens or what are the coins that you're investing into. Hindi, syempre, hindi mo naman pwedeng si lagyan ng pera dyan just because it's listed in Binance. Make sure that you kind of like update yourself what's uh, what's been happening in the space uh, ano ba yung mga pwede mong uh, i-trade or ano ba yung mga pwedeng i-long term so ganun sa akin kasi kalahati naka short term kalahati naka long term just so that meron akong um anyan i benefit in both trends kasi syempre may iba pang long term talaga na matagal uh, anyan okay yung outlook pero hindi pa ganun kabilis yung or hindi pa established yung trend so medyo mabagal yung outlook offer that kasi fundamentals wise okay siya pero yung trend hindi pa talaga wala pa doon so maraming ganun na tokens for me and so yeah pagka ganun naka-invest lang ako uh, both into staking and then meron din sa liquidity mining tapos pag every time may mga pumps yun nagre-rebalance ako so usually within a week once or twice ako nagre-rebalance ng assets so that's my strategy. Um, here, ito naman yung sa mga nagtatanong sa Maya kasi this is something that I want you to see like every uh, Monday market update. I'll try to update you guys ano yung uh, nagiging takbo niya. Uh, the wins, the losses, you'll all see this. So this is gonna be for a year. Papakita ko ano yung nagiging itsura nito. So this is already um, full allocation na to. Hindi na ako magdadagdag dito ng pera. So if, let's say, within a year, nalugi ako, I'll take it out take the loss kasi ganun talaga diba hindi naman talaga panalo lahat pero i'm coming into this with the mindset of i understand that this is a coming from a let's say a trend 
oh, or you know market moves in cycles and so I'm positioned na because I understand that hindi tayo forever bear market magbubul din to and by that time na bull market ang lahi nang pwede magiging returns dito so here na diversify ako I think um, seven at least seven tokens or coins it's in Maya but again uh, for those of you who are listening for the first time I do not recommend Maya because of the fees um shadow malaki mga fees nila compared to Binance so um, I suggest either use Binance or another exchange if you want just to to save up on fees um, if you don't have an account yet with either then you know check out the description of this video I'm going to provide the affiliate link so you can save on fees so ayun lang um other other assets I put into uh, ito mga hindi naman to shit coins pero kind of like shit coin na rin to mga high conviction please so these are um, in the decentralized um, ano, protocols in Solana so I have here Orca I also use in um, Camino so ito yung mga protocols that I use in Solana mas gusto ko sa Solana like a lot of you are asking me bakit hindi ako maglalagay sa ETH or hindi ako naglalagay sa let's say sa Matic or kung anumang um, protocol yan. Sa akin kasi, parang it doesn't make sense, for example, if I pay, let's say, 100 pesos, 200 pesos, every transaction um, that I do, like, for example, if I stake, if I unstake, if I, um, let's say, sign, and usually, wala namang bayad yung signing. But, usually, if you stake, unstake, or rebalance your assets every now and then, uh, merong fees na ganun eh. I'm the type na sobrang spoiled ng Solana. And, the transaction fees here in Solana is less than 10 pesos, less than even 1 peso. So, um, I love the gas fees in Solana. I feel like this can be, um, in the future, one of the go-tos when it comes to DeFi. And for me, yun lang kasi yung needs ko. If you're the type of person who kind of like, marami ka ng pera, billions na, or million, multi-millions, and you wanna just let your money grow there. See, go ahead. You can do that. Walang problema. Uh, but as for me, I really like to save up on fees. Um, ganun ako kabarat eh. <laughs> when it comes to that, like, I, I really don't want to waste money just by doing the transactions every now and then. So, uh, that's just me. To each his own. Um, I also have, uh, yeah, this one. Yeah, the, sa mga may colonized Mars dyan, hawak ako pa yung colonized Mars. I've been uh, accumulating on this, uh, not really accumulating, distributing, selling on strength. Let's be buying it if I'm not here in the Anyway, that's it for uh, cryptos. Um, ano ba? Sige. ETH, just so that you guys know as well where the levels to buy in case it's going to be So here, that's 160, uh, 1,670 levels. And then also here, this level. So, ito yung mga discount price natin na levels. Of course, pag bumagsak siya sa 100, may buy as well. Um, but usually, hindi ko na masyado uh, nilalagay dyan. But in case lang, sige, lagay na natin. Right? These are your buy areas. And then, I would suggest don't really sell. Kasi pagka nabasag yan, tuloy-tuloy tayo sa ligaya. Like, aakit yan ng sobra-sobra. Usually, well, that's how trends work. Um, usually, pagka yung 100 MA or let's say the long-term trend, is already below the prices. People tend to add to their investments and then hindi sila nagte-take out or hindi nagte-take profits. Okay lang yan sa simula, pero like for example, pagka euphoric stage na tayo, you have to understand saan na tayo na stage ng market. If it's euphoric stage, you start taking out money or if even you're nandun ka lang sa momentum stage, start to take money off the table and enjoy your profits. Hindi yung parang uh, ano yan, iikot nang iikot mo lang talaga lahat sa market. Kailangan i-enjoy mo rin yan or cash out. You know, enjoy your money, put it into somewhere safe or stables. But yeah, currently we're very early in the market cycle. This is kind of, hindi wat, wala pa tayo sa price discovery stage. Uh, we're still in the establishment of the base before a strong breakout. So again, even if bumagsak yan, I'm still going to be very bullish. The only time that you will see me bearish if mababasag tong level na to, which is the 1,070. Yeah, or itong 1,000 levels na to. Pag bumalik yan dyan, bearish na ako. Uh, unfortunately, anything can happen, really. So, just always count to what are the possibilities of, you know, what what the market's gonna give you. Don't always look perma bull or perma bear or perma sideways, right? Make sure lang na uh, you take into consideration what the market is gonna do, all right? Because tatlo lang naman yung galaw ng market eh. It's either you go uh, up like this one, 
Pero syempre hindi yan dire-diretso. Minsan may ganyan pa yan and then aakit na. The other one is we stay on a sideways trend before we see what? Either an uptrend or a downtrend like this. So whether it's gonna be a sideways, going to be a downtrend, that's still a buy for me. Definitely pick up. I'm still I'm already in the market so like how how ko lang siya ganun lang mag mag-add lang ako sa positions ko sa mga dollar cost average na budget ko so basically that's it um that's my outlook I still I believe that crypto is here to stay even if um you know the whole world not really the whole world uh magkakaroon ng shift in global powers and the economy is going to be you know, sa kangkungan ng bagsakan niya, which is something that to be expected. Uh, there's there's a lot of shifts in the global economy right now, and I'm not gonna go dive uh, deep into it because like I'm not really that expert that could tell you all the answers. I'm just here um, gonna tell you what are the things that I'm doing, um, and from my expertise or from my personal experience, I don't want to talk about something that I don't understand fully. So. Ang naiintindihan ko lang pag bumagsak yung mga economies niya, naghanap din sila ng bagong um, like currency. Where can they put their money, right? Put it in gold, put it in petrodollar. Ah, oh, sorry, petro. Oil. Ayun. So, precious metals, oil, where else? Crypto, right? So, crypto ako, ano, bullish because, ano, sobrang, compared to those other markets na established na, isipin mo pag uh, natin karoon ng crypto adoption, right? Um, just because of the technology that we have, sobrang laki ng upside dito. Anyways, um, there's that. I don't want to babble too much about those things. Uh, what are the other tokens that I'm looking at? Uh, nakita niyo naman siguro. You can just back read dun sa I mean, back read tuloy. Um, review dun sa pinakita ko dito sa Earn or dito sa Liquid Swap. So I have uh, Metaverse tokens like Sand. I have Mana. I have Ape. I have Gala. Um, what else? Sa mga layer ones natin or uh, layer twos, we have Solana, we have Matic, we have Al- Avax or Avalanche. Um, Ethereum definitely something that you want to be holding into. Um, what else? Ayun. And then we have uh, protocols like, for example, Sushi, Uni. Um, ano pa ba? Link. So marami to, marami to actually. Pero yung mga top ko talaga yan, sige, si Ethereum, si BNB, Binance. Si Binance hindi ko nilalagay dito sa ano eh, sa Binance. Sa, <laughs> ang weird, hindi ko nilalagay sa Binance. Nilalagay ko sa ibang protocol. But yeah, I have Binance. Um, yeah, to me, Binance is very strong. That's a no-brainer for me. Si Matic, yes, ito din. Um, Solana. Yeah, Solana is very is in a very tight range. So for me, ano talaga to. Bye, kahit na bumagsak to ng mga 16, sana bumagsak. Like for me, mas gusto ko yon kasi uh, marami akong NFTs dito eh. So, ano, um, very, very bullish in Solana. Sushi. Sushi and Uni as well. So here's Sushi. Lakas ni Sushi, you know? Parang nag- ganyan lang tapos bumalik nung kagad. Sushi, Uni. Wait, wait yata. Yeah, Uni for me is better at, at current levels than Sushi kasi ayun si Sushi umakit na ito. Ano pa eh? Retesting support. Nasa support levels to, which is good. Um, what else? Uh, we have ETC. Ito na yung mga konti lang. ETC, Dash, at saka uh, Dash versus LTC. LTC nasa Dash ako eh. Ito. And then, eh, hindi natin kakalimutan yung mga shitcoins. So yeah, Doge. <laughs> Nag-rally siya nung isang araw. Diba? Nung sobrang laki. Tapos ngayon, bumagsak. Ayan. Mukhang nag-cover na sila ng shorts nila. At saka nakapag-sell na. So, <laughs> Doge, de- definitely, I'm not gonna, like, I am not going to disregard the power of meme coins. So, Doge is one. Shib is another one. So, Doge, Shib. Uh, meron pa ba akong ibang mga shit coins? <laughs> Wala na yata masyado. Hindi. Nandito sa Solana eh. Itong GP at saka Jelly. So, pero ito, I don't really consider GPS a shitcoin. It's more of like a, a bet on technology, especially in the um, NFT Solana ecosystem or NFT Fi, what they call it. But um, let's discuss this in a while. Teka, close ko lang to. So, ito na yun, 195. Yung uh, pinakamataas na inabot ito is 242k eh, or 240,000. Tapos pinakamababa naman ito was 170. 
Yeah, nagdip to tapos ayon. Ngayon it's at 195. So imagine that kind of volatility, right? Parang mga 20% yung inakyat tapos bumalik lang sa sa dati. Wow. Pero wala pang bull market yan. So I'm I'm pretty excited about uh what's about to happen in the coming days. Um what else? Ah yeah, so the next thing that we're going to be talking about is NFTs. What are the top NFTs that I'm looking at? So if you go here to uh, I'm using Tensor uh, to trade NFTs just because sobrang solid yeah. It's it's good for traders, but if you're not a trader, you want to like um, check out, you know, NFTs as they are, then you can just go and switch to Lite. You'll be able to see and and select NFTs if you want. Um, but if you want like for example, uh, trader ka, tapos napunta ka dito sa NFTs, you want to trade, buy and sell, uh, be an automatic make, an AMM, uh, provide liquidity to these um, NFTs, these assets, but then, but yeah, I would recommend Tensor uh, if you're if you're trading into NFTs. It's one of the best tools out there for trading. So anyway, uh, my top NFTs, uh, syempre, so, um we have Tire Robotics. This is the heaviest allocation that I have. This is a bet on the team that has e already financial power or that financial muscle to be able to create yung mga technology or um, yung mga gusto nilang gawin uh, dito sa space. So that's one, tire robotics. You might want to look into the other uh, tire products that they have. If you check here, tire, that's in the collection space, you'd be able to see tire robotics, tire pilots, tire infants, tire oil. Uh, yan. So ito lang yung mga legit dyan, ah, yung apat na yan. Actually, itong tire armory din. Pero uh, just go for these four. And then, yeah, I would suggest if if you can afford it, buy one tire robotics. If you can't, you can go for infants. Pero hindi ko talaga masyadong ma-recommend si infant. Eh. Si, si Tayo, ito talaga itong mga Gen 1. Kasi may revenue share sila uh, upcoming. Tapos you get to earn Graphite Protocol, which is their token. Um, yeah, that's it. So that's for, for tire robotics. That's my main. The next one would be FFF or Famous Fox Federation. So you can just choose their FFF and then it's alabas na to. So, dalawa yan. Famous Fox Federation and then si uh, Transdimensional Foxes. That's the second collection. Like, uh, famous Fox. Ayan. Lagay natin dito. Ayan. So, merong Dance and then ito. Famous Fox. Bakit yan? Ah, friends. Ito yung mga, ano, mga one of ones. Anyways, ito naman yung next na collection na i- recommend ko if ever you're getting into the space. Just because uh, they're already an established team, they have a di- they have lots of um, what do you call the services that I use. Uh, if you want to go to their website, you can just click here. So here in Tensor, So they have uh, loans. If you want to be a, if you want to borrow or if you want to mortgage, like you want to buy an NFT, pero gusto mo installment, they also have that. So it's ridiculous. NFT Fi is happening. Um, yeah, you can have that somewhere in uh, Citrus. So just go here in Utility and then you can go to Citrus to do that. Uh, they have um, a lot of, of um, available tools that a lot of people use. And so, yeah, I would recommend this. Even if it's high, it's here 65 levels. Uh, and consolidating. Kung, if you're a chartist and you see that pattern, that's definitely bullish uh, for me. Yeah. So, hindi ko alam kung ano yung magiging effect nito pagka, let's say, um, Solana goes up, baka mamaya magkaroon ng uh, bagsak in NFT prices because people would say, ah, you know what, tumaas yung Solana. Uh, maybe I could sell some of this for some dollars. The dollar would be the same, or yung dollar equivalent niya would be the same. It would usually adjust to that. But usually, on a full-blown bar- bull market, ang nangyayari is umakit yung uh, price ng NFTs and then umakit din yung price ng um, Solana. So, you're earning double. It's crazy. So, ayan. Famous Fox. And then you can send your foxes into missions. You can earn rewards and all that stuff. Uh, pretty pretty good gamified way to keep people engaged. So, yeah. Community is solid as well. Uh, OG's na project din to. Kaya solid. Um, ano ba? Si, ano kasi... Uh, one of the main, ano kasi, syempre si Digas, I don't want to recommend that to you guys kasi medyo mahal na siya eh. I think one Digas is already at uh, between 700,000 to 800 or 900,000, almost a million. Umabot siya ng a million um, nung 
time na nagkaroon sila ng ano, migration into ETH at saka Matic for Utes. Utes, crazy. 258 na siya. So, isipin nyo, like, 125 lang to eh. Parang a month or two months ago. Yeah, I think it was a month ago. Yeah, not this one. Yeah, here, this one. So, from from 120, these levels, umakit siya ng mga 218. So, insane, insane levels. Umakit siya, basically, almost double. Nag, pero, yeah, dumoble naman siya before, before the total migration happened. And so, I don't really recommend you trading this here um, in Solana because there's already a, uh, a tax, a huge tax, if ever you're going to be trading Utes or DGADs in Solana. Um, I think, yeah, they, they took some contracts uh, for them to be able to transfer into those ecosystems or they're like looking for the next level opportunity. If you have uh, DGADs or if you have Utes, congratulations to you because mukhang malayo pa yung mararating nila. Especially that uh, royalties have now been back or it's enforced. Now, if you're looking into the possible, I'm not gonna say the next, right? Medyo gas gas na eh. But um, the next, the next or the possible or the potential, right? Who has potential? Who has the community to take the number one spot in Solana? Um, people are speculating it could be Ugi. So Ugi is a 10,000 collection led by ano ba, uh, people who are coming from the Gigads uh, ecosystem. So these are not Gigads team, alright? So, uh, but they have been into the community. Actually, one of the founders, not all, one of the founders have had that Gigad experience. And so gusto niyang ibalik yung ganong passing experience and, you know, put the, the fun back here into the Solana ecosystem. And so, um, this is one of the ano, potential because you know people kind of like want something familiar or want something that smells or acts like the gods or that kind of leadership and that kind of execution and so far solid the team i still have not uh bought any of this but i'm really looking for a dip before i actually buy into this collection so currently uh for you to get Sir, there's two here. Baka may malito kayo. The Ugi Pods and then the, the Ugi. This is the Ugi main collection. So you'd be able to see here may mga Ugis na revealed na. Alright? So meron tong tax, I think, four or five. I'm, I'm not sure. I forgot. But like, um, if you want to, yeah, bet on a potential na, you know, strong community plus uh, good IP and all of that stuff, then this could be one of the um, bets that you can choose from uh, there's com upcoming mints one is heist and then another one is mad lads mad lads that's kind of like I would say next gen um, NFTs and then sobrang laki ng backing niya tsaka money that's pouring into it and it's quite hyped in, in both of those heist and mad lads if you're able to get a whitelist on those then congratulations to you uh, if wala try to get kasi free money na yun guys <laughs> kung nakakuha kayo tapos hawakan nyo na lang Anyways, um, hindi pa nag-reveal yung full collection nitong Ugi. Uh, Ugi Pods, you're gonna be uh, revealing this for your Ugi. So you burn this one and then get an Ugi. Um, there is no, parang, ano ba? Walang kailangang bayaran. You're just gonna have to burn this one and then your Ugi will be revealed. But, if you ever want to, let's say, re-roll, Halimbawa, hindi mo nagustuhan yung ugi na nakuha mo. You are going to be wanting to buy ooze. So, on the first try, you will use one ooze. You're gonna be burning three Solana at the moment. So, ganyan, if ever you wanna buy. Um, so, you buy this. And then, uh, if you don't like the reveal or the, the ugi that you got, you can use ooze, burn it. And then, um... Ayun, bibigyan ka na nila ng second try to do a reveal. If hindi mo pa nagustuhan yun by, the, by that time, you can burn again. So, on the second try, you will need two ooze already to do that. Now, why do people uh, do this? Is because they are hoping na on the next try or on the second try, um, or sorry, on the third try that they do, um, they would be able to reveal a higher rarity um, ugi. So, for example, ito guys, para lang makita ninyo. So, hindi lahat nag-reveal, right? So, dito, halimbawa, itong ito, 
this is four four hours ago. Uh, you can see here the price of Ugi pods is twenty three point ninety five Solana. The floor price of the usual Ugi or the floor of this one is what twenty four point ninety nine or ninety eight pala, right? And here you can see may mga sale na ito halimbawa yung rarity nito sobrang taas or uh, sorry sobrang yeah sobrang taas ng rank niya. And it's not the usual Ugi that you would be able to see in the markets. And so this one sold for 149 uh, Solana. So ganun guys, pagka merong rare na nakuha, pwedeng let's say ibenta mo at a higher price. So you see here, ayan, yung normal mo na 25, 23, you just burn uh, 3 Solana and then get a reroll. If you get a really rare one, you can sell it like 149, right? And what can you do next? Pwede mong bilhin ulit na mas maraming Ugi Pods and then try to repeat the process. But again, if you do this, sobrang risky. <laughs> sobrang risky syempre because, well, again, uh, you're competing with other people who are trying to do the same thing as you. But then again, if you're able to, right? If you're able to get those rare uh, Ugis, you'll be able to get these kind of sales. So ito, 119. I think it's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same Ugi. Uh, binenta niya at 100 Solana. Tapos, flinip ni tong guy na to to this seller for 149. So, isipin nyo guys, binili niya for 100 Sol and then flinip niya for another 49 Sol profit. Actually, may, may royalty yan eh. Pero, ganun. ba? <laughs> Crazy how these how these things are. Pero, that's how it is. Uh, here's another one. Um, 150 naman yung benta niya dito. A little lower rarity compared to the other one, but it looks like may nakatipo na sige, gusto ko bilhin at 150 Solana. Yeah. <laughs> so, ayun. Ito, dapat mas mataas tong ano eh, benta. Dapat mga 150 or 100 or mga 200 Solana to. Pero, yeah. People take what they can get. So, that's for Ugis. That's the new collection that's out or relatively new, I would say. The next is Lily. So Lily, um, yeah, strong community, very good leadership as well. They've been building uh, since ano ba? Yeah, since what, a year ago. Matagal na, matagal na sila build. This is their second collection. The first collection is Lotus Gang. So ito yung parang homage nila or pay tribute to the kind of like pixel art. Um, yeah, the pixel art culture. So Kita nyo dito 13. Uh, as opposed to the uh, the second collection, mas mabab. Usually it's the OG collection na mas mataas yung floor price dapat. So pag nakita nyo yung price difference, let's say mas mataas si Lily, you can buy uh, Lotus Gang. This one's better than let's say if you buy the Lily. At, at mas malit yung supply nito. This is just like 4,000 supply compared to let's say Lily. Ito. And like by culture, usually mas malaki talaga yung naabot na floor price ng original collection uh, compared to the second. This one is 10k supply, the other one is only 4k. So imagine ang laki ng upside ng isa. And ito nasa 13.34, the other one is just like what 13. So mas malaki yun. Although mas maganda yung art nitong uh, nitong Lily. But definitely, if you're uh, here, if you're new into the Solana space, you wanna see like what are the uh, NFTs that I wanna be buying or looking into, ito yung mga may recommend ko. Um, if you want a little more, a little bit of a degen, meron pang isa. <laughs> so, um, so I got into this already. This is Sol Casino. Not really that, I mean, the art is pretty okay. It's pretty decent. So, what's up with these? If you, so this is a casino NFT. The main utility of this is you have like a rake back, which means siguro pag naglaro ka, na pag naglaro ka dun sa NFT, um, ah, sorry, sa casino platform nila. So you're gonna deposit crypto there. And then every time, let's say, you bet, you win or you lose, there's what they call a rake back. So parang percentage of what you bet, babalik sa'yo. Hindi ko alam, hindi ako gambler. But like, that's, uh, from my understanding, that's what they kind of like provide. That's the utility. That's the main utility. They also have revenue share, which means um, if you stake this NFT or, um, yeah, if you stake this NFT for a certain amount of time, hindi pa sigurado or hindi pa clear yung nagiging mechanics, but this is what they're proposing. 
um, if you own the NFT and then you hold it or you stake it into your wallet or into their platform, you earn a certain amount of tokens. And then that token is going to be used to um, stake. So you stake your tokens sa makukuha mo, and then it can you can claim uh, USDC. So yun yung gagamitin mo. Yung tokens yung gagamitin pang farm ng USDC, which is um, profits na nakuha nila from operating their casino business. So if you're like me who doesn't play really, uh, who doesn't bet or go into casino but want to invest into the casino markets, this could be one of those uh, projects that you can get into. Um, yeah. <laughs> so ako kasi, ano eh, like I want to diversify my investments and so these are the things that I'm looking into. There was another one, um, yung business is still pretty solid eh. Compared, we're, we're all kind of like speculating this is going to be another or hopefully uh, similar to Rollbit. It's another casino. I don't know. I think it's in East. But ang laki sobra ng kinikita nila because I don't know, it's a very I know, lucrative business. And sobrang laki ng inakyat eh. Taka, I'm just going to show you guys yung chart. Hindi ko ma-explain yung mga, ano, how this business works because I'm not really again, I'm not I, I don't I don't gamble. I don't see how um but what I do know is that the money flows here. But anyway, here was Rollbit for some time. And then after it broke out, that was a 10x. 10x ba? Teka. At least 10x, I think. Price range. So from here, yeah, that's at least 10x. And then ito nandito na siya ngayon currently. Nag-correct na. Pero, yeah, from that breakout, tuloy-tuloy yun eh. And then, ayun. So if you had like that NFT, you get, I think, rake back. You also get uh, revenue share from what the casino is like uh, earning. And so ito yung NFT na yun, in Solana. So this is only in the Solana ecosystem. I'm not sure if they plan to go to other chains. But um, as far as their business is concerned, they're doing great. And then I think the reason why sobrang taas ng uh, floor price niya, originally this minted out for 12 Solana. And now it's uh, hindi pa naman doble. Uh, but one of the mataas din yung ano nito eh, royalties nito around 7.77% so just um, take that into, into consideration if ever you buy or sell dapat mo makikita na 7% para at least ma, para at least man lang break even ka so the higher the rarity so for example here if you want to see a, a rarity na let's say 10% you know then you can just click here with tensor this is one of the best things about tensor like you can just filter it anyway here at the top 500 you'd be able to see here yung mga prices nito so why are these um important because the higher the rarity let's say 145 or nasa 50s level yung mga red then mas malaki yung percent ng rate back uh, yan ayan so kita nyo yung mga red nasa 100 na yan anyways um that's that's how it is here um, in crypto, uh, I mean in in this collection. Uh, if you're just here, ah, yeah, they actually announced na if you own one of these NFTs, uh, hindi pa binibigay yung clear yung ano yung full details, but um, nagkaroon kasi dito ng ano eh, ng fud, ng panic. So, eto yan, like bumagsak siya, lum, as in it went near the mint price, near 12, actually 12.5, yung pinaka low niya ata. Yeah, 12.5. Went as low as 12.5. And then people started buying it up. And what happened here was that they were saying, ah, this is a cash grab, ganon. And people were pretty upset because of it. And then, kasi wala din silang Discord and they don't really do things that professionally. They don't have a community or they're really just focused on their business on the money. Uh, but what they did was uh, they opened their Discord and then they started communicating with their holders. And what happened was uh, the founder actually said, uh, okay, we don't really need your money. Um, if you hold an NFT or if you hold any of our NFTs, we're going to be um, not refunding, but that NFT can claim Solana, like a 12 Solana uh, claim. So, ibig sabihin parang nirefund lang nila sa'yo yung pang-mint mo. 
just so that they can put a uh, like send a message like we're not here for your money we don't even need your money and so that's what they're doing right now um, and ever since then they're kind of like hiring some team members to uh, take care of the community and then work on their back end so I feel like na, na pressure lang sila because people were starting to shit on them and tell them like all these nasty stuff and they felt hey you know what like kaya ba ng pride nyo to na ginaganito tayo anyway to cut the long story short um, every NFT that you buy even if it's a floor you would be able to uh, be allowed or be eligible to claim 12 solana I think in their website I don't know how it's gonna work no clear details yet but yeah you're, you'll be able to claim uh, 12 solana per NFT so make sure that you buy before that airdrop and then after siguro pag naklaim nyo na yung NFT na yun sorry yung solana most likely babagsak ko ng mga 12 solana of course ganun um, but for me when that happens bibili din ako ng more <laughs> kasi I don't know I just wanna bet on on uh, founders or teams that kind of like have that that kind of confidence like if you can give your val- your your holders value uh, or money um, that shows that tells something so that's another one that I'm looking to buy or I would recommend if you're into a more um, I would say Legion uh, I would say if you want to risk more kasi baka mamaya pag dumating or nakik in yung revenue share nila tataas to ng sobra so there's that uh, next is This one, Shiki. So Shiki because I use their platform a lot, especially when I do my loans. So here, for example, if I go here, um, yeah, I do a lot of these loans in Shiki platform. I also do in FFF, but mas malaki talaga yung volume here in in uh, Shiki, in the Shiki platform. So if you're looking into um, doing loans or actually borrowing against your NFT. You can you can borrow if you want to make your NFTs as collateral. Of course, it's not going to be the same rate. Like for example, if your uh, the current floor price of Shark is around 16, right? You only get let's say um, a fraction of not really a fraction, but a chunk of uh, of the floor price. Siempre parang um, incentive yun if you're loaning, unless sobrang lakas ng project na yun. But yeah, it's like here you have like Uh, 13 yung nakukuha mo versus like around si Solana na, na kind of like difference and so here you would see the interest as well if ever you're gonna do your loans so some people what they do is they take loans and then take that liquidity either put it into coins or use uh, that liquidity to mint projects and then flip so pwede ganon yung ginagawa ng iba pwede mo rin gawin if you want Uh, just make sure na safe ka when it comes to this. You consider all these things. If like never, never loan or never, ano ba? Never loan out or borrow and if against your NFT, na it's an NFT that you really like, like solid na NFT to. Make sure talaga na hindi yung gagawin yun. Kasi sobrang sayang lang ng magiging effort mo. Na parang mahirap bawi yung mga ganong klase, especially kung attach ka dun sa NFT na yun. Yeah, so there's that. That's Baros loans. They also have uh, Sharky points. Ito. Um, they're gonna be live in a, I think soon. I don't know when, but sabi nila within a month they would be able to do that. I'm not sure if this could be traded for Solana, but in case handa na yung Solana ko, <laughs> my soul is ready. Uh, what else? So we have Sharky as well. I think. Uh, okay bears, okay bears. I would say sovereign solid ng community na to. Um, yeah, if you want to, and sovereign damn royalties na nakot nila, so they can actually build something out of all that money that they were able to accumulate. So okay bears is another one. I'm not gonna go full details into this one. Um, last is the bastards. So hindi ko para mihin yung ano ko. Ah hindi meron pa sorry. So the bastards is another one. It's an animation studio. Um, so medyo Uh, yeah, solid yung solid yung animation studio nila. Pero hindi ko masadong gusto yung art. It might grow on me if yung floor price yung market ng double or triple. <laughs> But like you know, let's just be real. Usually ganon siya when it comes to NFTs. Like even if sobrang ganda ng art mo, 
pero basta na yung floor price like you're not gonna appreciate the art but look at a very pixelated art pag umabot din ng mga 200 sol 300 sol gives you a 5x or 10x return in your investment you're gonna say ah such a beautiful art that's just how it is <laughs> so yeah the bastards is another one um, again the animation studio yung product nila and then lastly I would say Jikan so Jikan uh, this is a PFP community uh, collection project wow may nakakuha ng magandang ano anyway um if you want to bet on I know let's say a, a good PFP project this is one that I would be betting on to into so it's it doesn't it's not gonna look like this all right so ito ba yung art niya? well that's the original art but if you evolve this I don't know when they're gonna be able to deliver it I think within two months or within a month na lang. I forgot I should check on the updates but um, after let's say you upgrade the art it's gonna be a human like uh, PFP so I was looking into human um, ano ba? like human art meron din naman sa pilots pero mas solid pa rin talaga to like ang ganda ng ang linis ng ano nila ng collection nila the next I think na human is uh, tayo pilots pero yeah I think compared to Jikan I like Jikan more yung art nila ito hindi masyado eh pero this is again um, tayo pilots from the tayo um, ecosystem like ayan so iba apat to na factions so iba iba yung art style uh, you can stake this to earn their tokens um, not GP or graphite protocol or you can actually burn I think pilot ores if you wanna switch to staking into graphite so there would be a come ah there would be a time na pwede mong gawin yun dito so ito yung mga sample na art nila see it's like for me hindi masyado like so so lang pero okay lang like pwede na rin decent art okay um again tayo yeah sa, si tayo magkakaroon sila ng rebound in their ano, in their collection sa so gen 1 at gen 2 so abangan natin yan I think yeah so with how Solana is going uh kung bababa man yan or akyat especially kung akyat most likely again hindi natin alam pwedeng umakyat yung uh, projects pwedeng bumagsak really depending on how uh, the teams are going to be managing it but um, yeah these are the things that you need to be prepared of when getting into NFTs it's not like coins that you can liquidate it uh, easily or fast um, means and it takes time uh, sometimes sobrang illiquid niya but buti na lang again merong mga AMM like here in Tensor that you would be able to um, ano ba, sell instantly and have liquidity in your on the NFTs that you have. So I guess that's it for this update. Medyo na pahaba tayo. I was more um, I wanted to touch or tackle more on the NFT sector because I feel like there's gonna be uh, a huge NFT bull market that's co- that's gonna be happening um, alongside with the crypto um, ano ba rally in general so usually kasi magsi spill over yung mga profits na dito sa mga NFTs especially yeah feeling ko ano to mag magiging chain reaction lang din so that's it for for today's update uh for Monday market updates i'm going to see you on the next updates on yeah next monday so do good in your whatever it is that you're investing into and yeah have a nice day <laughs>